Today is the day the blue year is going. <laughs> I'm a bit sad, but also, like it needs to go now because it's the depths of winter and uh, you can't even see it. It's so foggy. So Phil's just arrived and um, his partner Rachel's on the way. Um, so we're just gonna try and get it down, get loaded into their trailer. And as we go along, I'm gonna try and explain to them like what different bits need to, basically what they need to worry about when they're building it again. But you know, we're only on the end of the phone. Um, oh no, he's gone to the wrong yet. He's taken the blue yet, not the green yet. Quick, I better go and tell him. So this is Rachel and Phil. Phil's already on it, taking the lights down. We've started getting the outside down. So are you excited about your new yet purchase? I am excited. <laughs> We've already trialled it what, for one night. So, uh, and that was it really. Yeah. That was enough to convince us. Okay, but, uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I had to come home. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're planning to start a glamping site, are you? Is that because you're on a farm? Yeah, we're on a farm. I think um, we've got a big birthday next year, so we thought maybe the yurt could be part of those celebrations. Yeah, sounds good. Um, sort of, I guess we could sort of trial run it and see how it yeah. goes next year, and then who knows? Yeah. We might escalate from there. We'll have to see. Well, yeah. Um, well, hopefully we'll be able to. We might come visit you and see it up when it when it's all up next year, yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, that'd be good. Come to the party. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so we're basically going to try and get everything down. The, the we've got to get the we've got the lights out. Now we've got to get the chimney all out. Um, they're having the wood burner as well, so pack away the wood burner, and then we'll start taking it down. There we go, there's a booyah all packed up, ready to go. I don't need any tools, so, um, yeah. Bye bye, blue yurt. Today is the day we say goodbye to our lovely green yurt. This is Brian's favourite yurt. Are you sad about saying goodbye to the green yurt? I'm actually looking forward to getting rid of the yurt because, as much as, well, as nice as they were getting us started on the glamping journey, they're actually quite a pain to put them up and take them down and put them up and take them down. So I'm quite looking forward to just having domes and well, we can leave them up all year round. Yes. But no, they, they were really good in getting us started and us getting really understanding the whole glamping world and that actually glamping is all about canvas. And so, <laughs> You're going to get that in again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so no, so it, it's sad to say goodbye because it kind of feels like we're closing one chapter but at the same time we're opening up a whole other chapter. So it's sad on one next but it's really quite exciting on another one. So we have emptied the green yet. Um, I just didn't hadn't done the bed because I forgot to bring the sockets up. So we're going to take the beds down. We're going to leave that one and just they can take it down around the beds. Um, so the green yet is going to embrace the space in Wales. So they've got an established glamping site they've got yet. So Steve's about to come now, probably in the next 15 minutes, start taking it down. Unfortunately, we're going to Longleat Festival of Light today, so um, they're going to have to take it down on their own. <laughs> I feel a bit bad, but um, they're really well equipped to know what to do with the yurts so they're just they've got a van they're gonna bring it up here and just take it down and pack it in the van so we're gonna start them off um start taking it down for them and then hopefully they'll join us in about 15 minutes they've arrived the vans here brian's just taking them on a little tour of the domes i'm just trying to undo the chimney for them before we go and i'll take all the electrics out so i'm gonna do that and then we're off and hopefully when we get back the yurt will be gone bye bye to the beautiful green yurt so that's it, the yurts have gone, and now I'm really worried that we've done the wrong thing. So obviously the yurts were all paid off, everything that we were making on them was profit because um, they, we, they cost us £4,000 essentially each to buy, and we've already paid them off over the six years. So uh, now we've got invested about £20,000 in two new domes, and that's going to take us quite a bit of time to recoup that money um so i feel like i feel like we've made a big mistake what do you think do you think this was a really stupid thing to do we've literally done it from a purely 
a selfish point of view, I suppose. We really hate putting yurts up and we really hate taking them down and we really hate storing them. So this way we can leave the domes up all year round. And I know you know that, and I know you know that's why we've done it, but now I'm having a mild panic. Uh, let's hope we made the right decision. It is absolutely freezing here, and William has some sort of weird obsession with the ice that is everywhere. It's like minus two. Can we check out the pond? Why, what's that? Is the pond frozen? I don't know. I haven't been there yet. Do you want to go and check out the pond? Yeah, go on! Here we are, and the pond is totally up. frozen over. But I walk reckon it. that it's it. so frozen that I think that Vicky would be able to walk on it. I'm not walking. Like, William's a lot nicer than me. William, I've got to hold you. Don't you see? Jump. Don't Please. jump, just walk carefully. No, why can't he go through the middle? Can we not go through the middle? Well, it's currently like minus two out here, and it has been for the last I don't know how long. No, You'll be we'll fine to walk on it. Oh, my good grief. This pond causes me a lot of anxiety. Okay, so I think you should go on it, Vicky. Me? You, just think you can go ice skating on it. Oh. Actually, that's a good idea. Maybe we should get ice skates. It's not thick enough for ice skating. Look, he's practically ice skating on it. You'll be fine. If you go into the middle, you'll be fine. The middle? It's yeah. going to be the least stable. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen somebody poop himself yeah. too much. Yeah. Okay, you better go and get that piece of our block. I told you not to throw stones at it. Because I told you I don't want stones in the pond. Well, I missed that. Somebody dicing and fell straight in. Go, William. Go. Oh, go, go, go. Just go. Mummy will rescue you. Don't try and break it. Go, go, go. 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 Enough of this game, let's go. Oh. So they've arrived, the domes are here. We've got two 5.8 meter domes from True Domes. Um, the bigger one has two extra solar vents in it for the event dome as well. So um, we've got four, four solar vents to fit this winter. <laughs> That'll be fun. Have we made a massive mistake, Brian? Should we have just stuck, sucked it up with the yurts? People love the yurts. To be fair, we most probably have made a big mistake just from the fact of costings. Yeah. Because technically, What's this? Like twenty thousand pounds? Yeah. And then it's everything else that goes along with it. Well, it's the wood burners are going to be another sixteen hundred per dome. Exactly. And then how long is it going to take us to recoup our money on this? But well, most probably two, three years. Yeah. Whereas the the, the yurts, they were paid up. But the problem is with the yurts. I don't know. It it kind of feels like we've moved past yurts as a site yeah and we're moving much more into the domes and this the domes are safer you don't knock your head every time you go in <laughs> well i for me it's more about the wind resistance yeah that. yeah for us for our site well, for our site so here they are the domes are here it's too late now we've made the decision we've got to we've just got to go with it go with the decision and Make it's going it to be amazing and it'll look aesthetically really beautiful up on the field i yeah, think yeah. with all the five six six seven it, domes up there now it looked like a martian landing site it will um, so we are probably going to have a little bit of break over Christmas because... Are we? Uh, oh, we've got a little holiday coming now. Yeah, we've got a holiday coming to Cornwall. Um, we're going to the Eden Project on my 40th birthday so I can do a zip line over the Eden Project. Annabelle and I are doing that. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, then it'll be Christmas and then it'll be New Year. We're also going up to Secret Garden Glamping in between Christmas and New Year. That'll be fun. So that's going to be a quite an exciting video because we're going to talk to Derry Green who owns the what does he say call it is the most booked most viewed most instagram glamping site in the uk so we're going to get all his secrets from him that's my plan <laughs> and tell them all to you <laughs> so um look out for that video hopefully be coming in the new year um but if we don't see you have an amazing christmas and a new year and we will see you in 2023